Espar the Gambler. Yeah, he's an archer. Excellent. I'll throw him up there. Kind of figured a gambler might be good at shooting arrows and staying in the back row. It just kind of follows. So the other thing we need is some armor. So we're going to see if we can find some of that. And this guy, Mace Mastery, is awesome because if you actually hit, you actually have 100% chance to stun. It's great. Alright, I think we want student. So these guys level up a little bit faster. Nah, we don't need him carrying more. We need him hitting more. I'm not, nah, he's just aren't... It's not a very good level up. Give some resolve, I guess. So what do we got in the way of armor here? Do we have an armor smith? We do not. Let's take a civil quest real quick. So let's see exactly what they want us to do. Drive off brigands. To southeast of Onmark. So they want us to go over here and drive off some brigands. And there's an armor over in Coldberg, so keep that up on the way there. Looking good for credits. And hopefully, just uh, some basic brigands in a forgotten hut that nobody cares about shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. We'll just stick around until morning rolls around. Alright, well thank you for following, so you'll know when all the, all the amazing streams are happening. Which I've been trying to stream, like, maybe once or every other day if I can. I'm working on a, a game with, uh, with my partner in crime, Adam Phillips. Uh, we're working on Dashkin, and kind of... To keep myself sane, since I'm working on this game pretty much all the time, since I'm an independent game developer, um, trying to stream, and so I have at least some sort of interaction with people. <laughs> Something's going on. So this reduces resolve of any opponent engaged in melee combat, so we should throw that dire wolf armor on somebody who's actually going to be up on that front line. And if you don't know who... Yeah, you've seen Dashkin art before. Um, uh, Adam Phillips made uh, the Bitey of Brackenwood series on Newgrounds. Um, you may have... You may know it. It was a big deal before. So we're working on that game now. Uh, we just started this year and hopefully we'll be shipping it uh, later this year, it's going to be on PC, and that's the start of it. it should be a speed-based platformer. Should be the greatest game ever, or at least it should have at least amazing art. Oh God! He just starts off by shooting behind my shield wall and getting in a critical. That bastard! Son of a bitch! And that's our newest our newest addition to the team. Starts off by just getting shot in the face. Christ. And I, I guess we didn't give him armor right off the bat. But yeah, we're gonna repay that favor in time. Arrow to the throat. Hope you hope you burn in hell. Let's run up there and spear wall. Let's do the same thing for this this side here. We're gonna protect our archer. One of the things we're trying to do with Dashkin is we're trying to stream a lot of the the game and the development that we can. Uh, Adam streams a bunch of his art. Uh, you can catch him on his channel. All right, let's see who we got here. We got a 27, 27. Yeah, this is our new guy, isn't he? He sucks. 
Oh well. Let's see how it goes. 51? Yeah, alright. Seven of them left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we haven't seen one of them. Show yourself. Yeah, they don't want to come into range, do they? I would like to steal this guy's armor. And basically, you can steal armor in this game by killing them without taking their armor to zero. So basically what that entails... Colossus and Steel Brown. Uh, my, my big problem has been just, like, hitting people. So I've, I've kind of been partial to... Partial to getting um, fast adaptation because when you miss, it's just... It really sucks. Um, you're not getting any damage in there. Yeah, flails are flails are definitely something I should be I should be using. I got flails on a lot of my guys' backup weapons. Like this guy, he's got a flail. So we're gonna be moving in and flailing him in the head. Is there a guy there? Did we kill him? Yeah, we did, didn't we? Just, there's no need to be hasty on that one. This guy's got a cleaver. Just let me mock him, and then he'll come by and start doing some damage. Yeah, I should probably get be getting that steel bar out more often. If I'm complaining about my my guy's getting one shot and then wondering what the hell happened. It's probably because I don't have Steel Brow on him. And then, you know, they get headshot and, well, that's the end for him. Let's get a shot on that archer down there. Especially on the archers? Yeah, that's that's a really good idea. Yeah, you got a point. Can we run anywhere? No. I'll just murder a few of his friends here. Can we switch to... Nope. Yeah, we just can't move up. Just can't move up. <laughs> just pew, Missing. And this guy has been hanging back like the whole fight. Keep missing. Ah. Twenty nine percent. I'll take it. Yeah, we just can't get up there and do much. out that head. He's almost dead. So we're doing well. Let's, yeah, let's get you up in range. This guy's gonna run away though. So we need him dead before he runs away and kills his armor. We almost got him. This should do it. 67. Excellent. We got his armor now. We needed that. Oh, come on. 
I'd like to withdraw with this guy, but I'm just not able to. We'll just open up some room. Maybe we can move our crossbow guy in there, get a couple free shots off. Fuck your shield. Everybody's just got knives out. Ridiculous. Let's go see if we can run down some of these some of these punks. You can hear him. Stepping around off in the forest, doing a whole bunch of nothing. Well, just take our shots. Take our shots that we can. Alright, now he's gonna start running. Alright, so they got two left. One of them is right here. <laughs> We're gonna miss, of course. The other guy I think is down, down here. We just can't, we just can't move anywhere. Down there. Why is moving through the forest so difficult? Come on. Missing, aren't we? All right. Well, at least we got that guy, and we should at least also be done with this. Excellent. Yeah, I don't want to go chasing that guy. He's probably already off the map. Excellent. So we got some chainmail. Hopefully, it's not. Crappy version of the chainmail, but it probably is. All right, let's give it to you. Ninety percent, ninety. That's that's fine. All right, let's get some. Let's get some steel brow going on for you. So actually, a pretty decent fight. Why are you so horribly overburdened? Yeah, you just... You can't carry anything, can you? What should we do about that? Well, it's a minus 18 versus a minus 12, so we're going to give you not-so-heavy armor. And yeah, we're, we're just going to... We're just gonna have to do that just so you're not so freaking tired all the time. Let's give your shield to somebody who can actually carry it. Like you, Dightmar. You can carry it. And you, you got an extra spot for our flails. Let's throw it on there. Excellent. Well, let's go sell some stuff, get our quest done. One of the things that I just love about this game is the music. It's just it's always good. Always good. Alright, so we got enough tools, we got enough Hey, quest. Let's see. I need this crate delivered to Viteblick. It's going Alright, yeah, we can totally take a crate somewhere. That's easy. That's that's easy. This place is expensive, so let's not get anything here. 
you have any injuries? Yeah, let's let's bandage those up. I don't wanna I don't wanna be waiting around if we don't have to. So White Blanket. Where is White Blanket? Yeah, way in the north. Let's go to the wall. It's easy enough. Hauling crates around. And we're gonna look for some cheap tools and some cheap food. Well, this is at night, so. During camp, Wolfram the militiaman nursing a rather large tankard next to the fire. A few more modest mugs are littered around his feet. When he sees you, he tries to dress up, sloughing the foam off his face and attempting to quickly. attempting a smile that quickly sloops into a drunken frown. Wolfram the militiaman has become a drunkard. He's dissatisfied. Like shit! <laughs> Say yourself down and ask how he's doing. Being drunk. Nodding and reach back for the bucket, and the man gives it up, although his hands are shaped as if they're still be all that. That's how I'm feeling. First, Ellis and Dad, the crazy, went down. Then Josh, the sutler. I know there's been at least five or six others. Just dead men. Come and gone. I got memories of them. Oh, fuck off. They sucked. Who cares? <laughs> Alright, El Ellis and Dad was okay. But the other guys were just cannon fodder. <laughs> it's like we're so sad. Uh, they, they were worthless. I don't value any of my men. At least got provisions. Let's see. Straight back man walks towards you. Over here. That part of the map doesn't have a name. I need to patrol the territories. Alright, let's do it. Aslif Ravistad. This sounds like. This sounds great. Let's go on patrol. Let's see if there's anything around here. So get it for head, so we might as well find some heads. Day 99. Yeah, not seeing anything around here. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, these sound like a great idea. Thugs and poachers? We should be able to take these guys down. No problem. Let's see, there's ten of them. I count six in the front row. So we'll see. We'll see if they start coming forward at us. Well, let's give them a little bit of an incentive to come forward. Bad shot at all. Sorry, Tostic, you're gonna be bait. But you're good bait. You're gonna be bait that gets a lot of these guys freaking murdered. <laughs> we didn't put a spear on this guy. We put a, we just kept his flail on, so. Just gonna murder you. Oh, the miss. Well, this is this is gonna be a quick battle. These guys are toast. Absolutely. Just trashed here. He's not even freaking out yet. You should be freaking out, son. You should be wondering what happened. Why your life is why your life is like this. Like we're just gonna we're just gonna stab you in the face. 
That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> now, the archer isn't out here as bait. He's out here to mess you up. <laughs> they're not even firing at the archer, they're just firing at Falk. I don't know why they're firing shots at Dietmar. He's got he's got the good armor and the good shields. Let's get up there. Get these guys who are retreating. Alright. Just gonna circle around, get some shots off. Right, we're gonna make a run for these archers. And he is running, so we're just gonna get an extra step up. Yeah, if we get another turn and just slice all these guys in one go, I will be a very happy person. <laughs> oh no! Have you seen your head? Oh yeah, it's over there. And this battle I don't think could have gone any better than it has so far. Yeah, they're gonna take a few swings. Don't run, don't run, take a few swings. Because we're gonna we're just gonna kill all of you. Oh man. Well we're just gonna Oh he missed. Well, he didn't miss. And he's too tired to get one swing on. Well, well, fine. Ruining all my fun. We'll get you. We'll get you. Miss you bastards. Oh, that guy should definitely be freaking out. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we can't flail him. Actually, we can! Took his hat off. Screw your hat. One more left. He's just sitting there. He's got nothing. Ow! Oh, not even his head. Oh, and Tobjer and the Marauder leveled up. Excellent. Well, let's let's level him up then. Let's see what he's got. He's level seven. He's one of our one of our best dudes. He needs. He's got Steel Brow, okay, I was like, he needs that. And uh, we're gonna grab Colossus on him. We do not want him dying. He's up to 106 hit points. He is certifiable, Cer certifiable badass. All right, well, let's go to Asliv. Oh, we got 10 brigands. Now let's just make sure that we're gonna kind of shadow these brigands a little bit. Uh, goblin Raiders. I. Well, let's see who's gonna win this fight. Looks like the brigands are gonna win the fight. Well, let's go. Let's go get them after their injury. Heck yeah. I was like, I don't want to fight both of these guys. All right, so they got decent. Decent equipment for, for raiders, for brigands. Like this guy's got a long axe. We got some guys that actually have some decent uh, decent stuff going on here. Yeah, they got two. No wonder they won against those. 
Those goblins. Oh, man. Well, it's nighttime. That's why we're gonna miss. Well, I guess we gotta just start doing some damage to these guys, don't we? 44% chance to hit. And we didn't stun. Let's see, what's this guy on reserve? He's got a flail. Well. Let's do some damage. this long axe guy dead if I can. Those, those two-handed weapons can do some serious damage. And they got one archer. Alright, well that's not a huge concern. Watch him get all the hits. Ugh. Yeah, well, the humans are just kind of standard. Like, they don't have any crazy, you know, crazy ridiculous moves. They're just kind of there. <laughs> Definitely, yeah, I, I agree that the humans seem like the easier, easier guys to manage. Posting up pretty well. What I don't like is that reach on that long axe on the back. Damn, he's taking a fuck out. guys. Get a good hit in. Alright, that's what we needed to happen. Doing some work. Now if we could get Falk the hell out of here. Hits. Twenty-six percent chance. We gotta hit him eventually. Shit. Fog's toast already. Well, I mean, when you're not hitting anything. I didn't I couldn't hit people out of the way at that point. Yeah. And they're getting the stuns on. This guy the whole freaking time, and we haven't been able to hit him at all. <laughs> Fuck. Two guys lost. <laughs> We've been trying to kill this guy the whole freaking time, and we just can't get him. It's just absolutely ridiculous. We're 
we're missing all of our shots. <laughs> and they're hitting all of theirs. God damn. They, they really just cannot miss. We've been stunning these guys. What are we doing? Oh, God. Just can't hit him. Finally. Finally, one of those bastards goes down. Ugh. We finally get hits. They finally start falling. It's taken that long. Come on! He stuns him and then gets a free hit? Ridiculous. So the question is, can we knock this guy the hell back? No. Can't even try tactics. Well, go for the eyes. Nice, okay, so we're not gonna lose three guys this time if we can help it. And he gets to go. Another miss. These misses are just murder, because I need I'm trying to knock him back so I can withdraw my guy safely. You know, do some smart smart decisions here, but I'm not getting it. I'm not getting any of that. Oh well. Can't always make smart moves. But at least we're not making smart moves because we can't make smart moves. Not because didn't realize I couldn't make a better move. God damn it. Fucking, there were a lot of times there that you could have hit and saved that guy's ass, but no. No, you had to miss all of them, so we had to lose another frickin' person because of your dumb ass. Uh, well, I guess there's a reason then, mercenary, for drinking. I guess there was a reason. <laughs> Son of a bitch. We're getting, we're getting massacred here. Just absolutely. It is not... Not a good company. Christ. Mm. Well, we need two more people, and we do not have the armor.
so we can get a vagabond or a monk a day tailor well a day tailor is not awful a vagabond might be decent for a few things so he's good at ranged attacks and he's good at nothing he's cocky all right well at least he got spirit gonna need that spirit. Let's put our better dudes on the outside. We'll see what we can do about that. some money though that is that is going well for us we do need more tools so we're gonna go get some more tools probably over in Ravstad so let's run over there goblin scouts and fucking immediately oh no oh no Well, we do have the high ground uh, for our guys, a little bit at least. So that might actually help us. So come on, come on, goblins. Let's see you all die horrible deaths. be able to hit them, but we can always move forward. Alright, we're actually getting them. So we're going to press forward because they're all archers. have anywhere near good equipment so if we move there we can shield wall so we will we'll just have you on kind of defensive mode. and you almost can attack Get there? We can almost get there. Well, either way, the next turn these guys are toast. And hopefully his shield wall is making it so they can fire whatever the hell they want. They're not going to hit it. Yeah. Operation. <laughs> get, get behind Randolph. Successful. Goblin scouts came out of nowhere, but I don't think they picked a fight with the right people. Does he still have a shield wall up? <laughs> Even though he's under the tiny net. Ah, tiny net. Ah. So I'm gonna try to run these guys up onto the high ground and get a little bit of an advantage flank around him, smack him in the face. Nice, we're just putting these guys into the dirt. Alright, their, their front lines gone. Just toast. 
we're gonna see which one of these uh, of these goblins we can actually catch in combat. Yeah, you're just gonna put your your shield wall up even though you're under that net. Just we don't want you dying. Keep missing. It's barely doing anything. Nightmare's got some serious armor on it. Let's see. Forty two percent chance. Take it. If we threw Dightmire in there, he'll just he'll none of them will run away. They'll all be forced to fight. That sounds like a good plan to me. We knock his butt off. And he's yeah, that's that's looking like a better idea. Yeah, we can just murder him. That's also an excellent idea. <laughs> He's gonna spend the whole battle locked up in a little net. <laughs> oh man. Oh, they're gonna do their, their like tactics and draw. They're not gonna be able to move that far. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's got. Dightmar is. He's He's been rock solid. Like, I think he's been from the beginning of the game and just. He just doesn't die. He's just that good. All these other guys get killed all the time, but not Dightmar. Goblin Special Forces. Yeah, they're special. They're special, all right. Goblin, Goblin Team 7. Seven percent chance. Yeah, let's just let's just do some damage. Go for the stun. Instead of stunning him, just murder him. I like this guy. I like that. This guy just does not move very well. Oh man, Randolph got out from under the net. You're not useless, Randolph. Alright, you're kinda useless. <laughs> they're still they're still trying to get away. That's bullshit. Get back here, Mr. Goblin. Had enough of your had enough of you guys. We'll be able to get him. We can try. I mean, if we ran and actually got out of this guy's range, I don't think we'd even be able to get him then. Only Randolph were closer. They'd waste all their shots on him. That should be it. That went a hell of a lot better than the last battle. I 
guess we're pretty good against goblins when it's uh, fair play. You know, like, not against two bajillion dudes in the frickin' forest. God, that was just rough. Sell your net. I wonder if your guy is, like, still tied up in the net when... when you're, uh... When the battle's over, if you get the net, just because the guy's all wrapped up in it. Now, does this place have an armor? Uh, it has a weaponsmith. Anything good? Just a long axe? They're definitely giving us good prices here if we want to get anything. Nothing, nothing too important. Oh, the next Zezers? Yeah, they, we'll do that. We'll eat your dudes. Rupert the Particular. A bit on the nibby pimby side, Rupert has the footwork of a sword fighter, but the sword fighting soft breeze. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. I think I had one fight where, like, three of my guys were swallowed all at once. And... And basically what happened was I needed to... What is in this? There's nothing in this town. There's an armor up here. Right? Like, three of my guys were swallowed, and I only had one left. And he, like, went and, like, freed all of his other companions from... From the Naxxezzer's bellies. And while they were all trying to waddle off. Like they're trying to trying to run. Oh, that's day 100. We just got the, that achievement for actually making it. Which is making me think, where the hell is like the end game? Alright, we got tons of money. <laughs> this guy in his workshop literally has one, one piece of armor. That's it. We'll take it. God, I can't believe we're still just <laughs> throwing shitty armor on people. And this guy still has a crappy head. Oh man, what a... Why don't we replace that? Why don't we give you a better hat and we'll, we'll throw the crazy hat on Wolfram. He was level 9. Man, that guy is good. We still haven't seen the end game yet popping over the horizon to end our lives. Let's see what this three skull mission is. Follow the tracks and hunt down the creatures. Well, I wonder what's killing them. Let's hunt down, let's hunt them down. Let's see what they've got here. It's a three skull mission. Who's injured and why are they injured? You have a broken nose. Well, that's not a big deal. And you're an archer, you'll be fine. This looks like, uh, wolves or Naxxezzers? Beasts. Foul beasts. All right, so they went south, and they went over here. Where are they going? Nax Zezers, 21 of them. Holy shit! A plethora of Nax Zezers. Okay. Um. Well. <laughs> um. Next Zezers. Okay, so if there's 21 of these bastards, what the hell are we gonna do about it? Oh man. I mean, no guts, no glory, right? See how close we are to healing a few things. Well, I'd like to fight him, 
They're gonna come after me, probably. Let's fight them in the plains. Let's do it. Fuck it. Let's do it live! Well, these guys have no armor, and... As long as we can prevent them from eating their own dead bodies, I mean, there's only 21 of them. Yeah, last guy. Well, trust me, we're gonna die to a lot worse than a berserker. I mean, how bad could it be, right? There's only 20 of them. And at least we do have money. We can retreat and heal up. We can run away like little scared babies. Which we kind of are. <laughs> this guy just looks so angry that I gave him that hat. God, look at all those things. 36% chance to hit. Oh, yeah. Well, he's no longer at Fox or whatever, so somebody's got to carry on the tradition of doing it live. We're going to keep missing. If we keep missing, I'm just saying there won't be a company to... Won't be a company for too much longer. Alright. I probably should have gone and stopped at the war dog plans and bought some war dogs. Oh, Jesus. We're missing already? That's not a good sign. It's freaking Randolph, too. He's the weakest one in the whole party. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, no. Day 100. We're fighting these bastards. Yeah, step up there one more time, son. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of stormtroopers in the back row. Those back row boys can't, can't shoot worth shit. Oh, don't worry. They're only one, two, three, four, five deep on the, on the starboard side of the troop. Oh, man, I think they smell weakness. They're just, they're going to circle around in one gigantic flanking move. God, it's just Randolph. Randolph's the, the Randolph's the guy who sucks. Yeah, Dightmar is just a fucking bulwark of awesome down there. Stun him! Shit! Oh my god! Get the hit! Excellent. So the other thing that might actually happen here. If we are able to scare these guys enough, they will run. So there's a chance. Like, two of these guys are already running away. Like, we might be able to win just because they're too freaking scared. Uh, because the idea is that these guys, if they run in the middle... Then we can just lay down all the damage. And with these guys, I might be able to smack a dude away or adjust my formation down to um to get him some cover. But like if the guys get into the pocket, then that's kind of the kill zone. Kind of just easier to move them out than to um, than do much else. That's the theory. That doesn't mean it's true, or that it's a great idea. And these these axemen can also attack over um, the um, the archers if they have to. So that's the idea. Oh man, just keep running into it. Yes. So the thing that I want is I want them to die right on my front line. And if, if, if all goes well, we can kind of do like the, the Spartan shuffle and just step forward over those dead bodies so they can't eat them. Oh man, he's running away too. 
This this looks like I I hate to say it, but this looks like we might have a freaking shot here. Like we we are doing some work. Oh man, he's able to kill him and get that spear wall back up. Oh man, I like this guy. We're gonna go up and go for the double kill. Oh, beautiful. Oh yeah, I am. I am looking forward to this. I think it's time to do that shuffle and get up there and start messing up all these guys' lives. move up there we're not able to attack I don't want that I don't want that at all you need to move to here we'll get you next turn buddy now yeah, they don't want to move in and they don't have the action points to do too much in the way of attacking All those misses are brutal. Well, what I want is to kill these guys up top because we got the bottom locked down pretty well. Alright, you cannot attack him, but you can take a swing. We are going to go for kill if we get you 82% chance we get you we're gonna stick where we are move you up and then we're gonna get the kill right next here so we can actually move twice but that doesn't help us ah oh, that miss oh and he's freaking out he's running well, in that case, we'll move up. So what's our chances? We have an 82% chance to hit, or an 87 with a move. Well, he'll be able to move up and attack anyway, so let's just go for the kill. And it looks like Naxezers have met their match. Hell yeah. No armor, no problem. I did not think I'd be like, well, how do we finish these guys off? You know, let's kill the most of them as they're running away. That was not what I thought. I thought this might be our last our last dance with this crew. But instead, we're just getting started. Let's get down there, Dightmar. Let's get some more. Let's get some more pelts from these bastards. What do we even get from these guys? Oh yeah, we get teeth. I don't know what good the teeth are. They don't sell for much. Yeah, the dog's like, basically, it's portable cover. You just chuck him out there, <laughs> and then they get horribly murdered, but it's like, oh man, I'm going to pay 200 gold to 